Late night video as usual, man. Let's go on and get right into it. One time for that squad, though, and salute to everybody for checking in. And today, we have a lot to discuss. Now, let's jump right into it. Anyway, up first, we got that boy X and that girl Geneva. Okay, so by now, sadly, we all know what went down yesterday, fam. X was shot and killed, dog. And since we got the news yesterday, the internet been in an uproar, fam. Which is understandable because nobody deserves to go out like X did, fam. Then to make matters even worse, footage of his lifeless body inside his car was going viral all over social media, bro. Which is sad as hell. It was disrespectful as a bit, not only to X, but his family, bro. Then people getting close up on the car, sticking their phone all in their car, zooming in. Shh. Shit just tasteless, dog. Our ex fans is extremely pissed off about his passing, and they not taking things lightly, bro. They been on a rampage. We already know the situation that's been going on with Soldier Kid, where they accused him of killing ex, and they took things up a notch when they had his Instagram today and leaked his address and phone number. Like I said, bro, his fans relentless. Now, usually when somebody die, everybody take the social media to pay their respect, bro which is what majority of everybody is doing in this situation, fam. But some people is still trying to use X pass against him despite him being dead. Some headlines I read said woman beater slash rapper dies after being shot. Then you got people saying all kind of stuff on Twitter and things like that, bruh. And also using the man mug shot instead of a regular picture, dog. Shh crazy now his ex-girlfriend geneva who accused him of beating her decided to show up to the vigil and his fans wasn't having none of that bro they got her the fuck out of there she took to ig and said they kicked me out of the vigil so damn disrespectful i can't believe people are that selfish i wasn't even there 25 minutes and i literally got pulled away from the memorial i just wanted to stay i wasn't bothering anyone this is unfair i'm absolutely devastated they burned the shit I left. They burned what I brought for him. I'm so mad like I'm screaming. She also said, I left those things for him. I didn't bother anyone. I said nothing to no one. I can't believe they do that. How did they let that happen? Why would anyone let that happen? Where is the respect? The globe, board, flowers, and candles I brought for him were placed behind the caution tape and they let them get the shit and set it all on fire. He would have wanted me there. I have no fucking words. Yo, the fact that they burned my shit, bro, like, that's so fucking disrespectful. Like, how could you guys do that, bro? I don't care how many, how much you guys hate me. Like, why would you guys do that shit? By no way I'm condoning anything. Now, this comes from a couple things, fam. First, you got the fans extremely frustrated because of its death. Second, outside of the love and respect it's being shown after his death, He's still receiving heavy backlash for being an alleged woman beater. Hella articles written up, still calling this man woman beater even after the tragic situation. So many social media groups being formed and attacking his name. And up under all of these social media attacks, long threads of ex fans defended him. You got a combination of all of that plus more, and they took their anger out on the one person they blamed for all of this backlash, which is Geneva. Now, like I said, I'm not condoning any situation, period, at all. Just give y'all an inside look on what I think triggered the fans, but y'all can think differently. I need y'all to comment down below what do y'all think about this entire situation. If you haven't, make sure you sub to the channel. Also, follow me on IG and Twitter. Links are in the description. I'm out there, baby. All right, ball. Go on.